So today, I'm gonna do a little garden harvesting. Maybe a little maintenance, a little pruning. Let's get to it. So we're gonna start with this Ford Hook Zucchini. It's been a pretty heavy producer for me so far. I know there's some squash vine borers attacking it, so it's probably at the end of its life cycle. Probably got about another week before it starts really looking bad. But it's still got a lot of nice zucchini, so I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it for now. All right, so we got two nice zucchinis off of it, and that's about average. I get something like this, you know, every other day, every three days, it seems like. Um, so just a nice, solid producer. Let's move over here to this uh, white patty pan squash. All right, so this one, this is like four or five plants, and I didn't know they were going to shoot out runners. I thought they were going to be more like a, a standard forward hook or yellow squash. But these have started sending out runners, much like a butternut squash vine. So they've really uh, exploded. But let's uh, get in there. There's some nice harvesting size squash, so let's get to it. So as I'm harvesting, I'm always looking for uh, bugs and eggs and things like that as kind of preventative maintenance. And on this leaf right here, there's quite a bit, there's quite a few eggs right here on this leaf. So when I find something like this, I'll just go ahead and cut the leaf off, go through it in the, the trash can somewhere away from my garden so if those dudes hatch out, they can't come attack my plants. So there's what we got so far. Now I'm thinking that there's going to be potentially some cucumbers over there. So let's go check out those cucumbers. Alright, I've spotted the dreaded squash vine boar moth over here. Let's see if I can kill him. He was just right there a little orange guy that greedy little dirt bag he's got to die got him So I don't normally kill all the bugs I see, but the squash vine borer moth, when they lay those eggs, man, it just decimates your squash. So that's the one exception I do go out of my way to kill. All right, so if you wanna see what a squash vine borer moth and her babies do to your squash plants, check this out right here. This lasted, uh, well, really, it took about a week for this to go from total health to total destruction. And the base of the plant is uh, infested with the baby squash vine borer moth. The egg hatches and a little grub bores in there and it eats the stem from the inside. And you can see these are just totally tore up. And then once a plant gets weak, it becomes susceptible to all the other pests in the garden. And so not only is the stem hurt, but all of these leaves are covered in these eggs. And there's just a ton of squash bugs. Oh, oh yeah, eggs, there they are. Eggs. I found eggs. I found some eggs. Oh, yeah, I found some eggs on this one. There's those rascals. Hey, I found some eggs. Yep, more eggs. So the whole thing is covered up. And that's what happens when you have a weak plant. Uh, plant's immune system, if it's got one, <laughs> it, it stops working and it all goes downhill really fast. So we're gonna pull this plant up, replant ah. probably okra in its place. So the last few days, we've been picking these shishito peppers and banana peppers and making up stir fries. And a lot of these are definitely mature enough to harvest, but 
we're going out to eat tonight. So no more home cooking. So I'm not going to pick this until tomorrow so that they stay fresh. So we also have a few strawberries we're going to pick. Those are pretty much a daily harvest. Mm, Daddy, is this one good? It's a little light on this side, dark on this side, light on this side, dark. Yeah, I'll leave it another day. So we got strawberries, squash, peppers, and okra. Pretty much a daily harvest right now. And we also have enough green beans to do another green bean harvest. This row of green beans right here, when we pick it, it gives us plenty to feed four people. And this is going to be about our sixth or seventh harvest, probably number six. So, good solid green bean production. Jalapenos are just now starting to kick in. They're a little late bloomers this year. That's all right. All right now. And it looks like these lemon boy tomatoes are close enough we've been having a real bad problem with birds and pests uh eating our tomatoes right before they get vine ripe and good so i've been picking them a little bit early in hopes to save them so i'm gonna go ahead and pick one maybe both of these lemon boy tomatoes all right those are two good looking tomatoes right there they're just about ready another day or two on the counter and we'll be eating them All right, here's what we picked today. And we left a lot of peppers out there because we're not going to eat them this evening. So tomorrow should be another good harvest. 